A stone is projected at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal. The ratio of the kinetic energy of the stone at point of projection to its kinetic energy at the highest point of flight will be. So now what I would suggest is, let us try to do this question in a very slow and a controlled manner. Let us try to understand the concepts in detail. So we have A here, point A, okay, and then we have point B. Now what is A? A is the point of projection. A is the point of projection. And what is B? B is the highest point, on the topmost point. Is the highest point. Now when an object is projected from A at an angle theta, which is according to the question here is 30 degree with a velocity u, right? We know that this this velocity u will have two components, two components, theta, this is u, which would be u cos theta and the vertical component u, u sin theta. And we know that, we know that for a projectile motion, we know that for a projectile motion, the u cos theta component remains, u cos theta component remains constant, right? And what varies? u sin theta component varies. And we also know that at the topmost point, right? At the topmost point, the u sin theta component is equal to the u sin theta component is equal to is equal to zero and the only velocity acting at the highest point is u cos theta and not u sin theta so the only component of velocity acting at this point is is u is u cos theta and u sin theta here vanishes okay so if you have to make it more clear, so here the body will have both u cos theta and u sin theta. Here the body will have u cos theta and u sin theta. Here the body will have u cos theta and u sin theta. The moment it reaches here, it has only u cos theta and no u sin theta. Okay, so ideally we were expecting some u cos sin theta component here, which is not present. Okay, right. So that's the, that, that's the concept that we need to understand to, do this, to, to solve this question. Now, how do we do this? We've been asked to find out kinetic energy, kinetic energy, ratio of kinetic energy at point of projection. So it's a point of projection is A, kinetic energy at A, the whole upon kinetic energy of point of projection is, sorry, the highest point is B. So highest point is B. So the kinetic energy of A by kinetic energy of B, which would be, which would be half into M into UA square, the whole upon half into M into U b square which is equal to so half by half is 1 m by m is 1 so what we have here is u a square the whole upon u b square now what is u a square see u a square is the velocity of projection u which is u square what is u b square the velocity at b we know that the velocity at b because of the topmost point u sin theta is equal to zero and the only acting velocity at the highest point is u cos theta so what we get is u cos theta the whole square. So this basically gives us u square upon u square cos square theta which is equal to 1 by 1 by cos square theta which is equal to 1 by cos 30. What is cos 30? Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So what you get is root 3 square by 2 square which is actually 4 by 3. Therefore the correct option is option D 4 by 3. 